Since the dawning of angling history, anglers have been faced with the process of making decisions, creating a virtual maze, if you will, a labyrinth of complex situations controlled by elements and solely being dictated by their current surroundings and abilities to cope with them. Regardless of the path you choose, an outcome will prevail. It could be positive or even be haunting. If I am successful, what you're about to learn today will direct you to the latter. If not, it may simply drive you over the edge further into the musky abyss. If such a journey into the abyss is to exist, at least you will have the tools and means by which to return. Return to the real world, my world, the world of sport fishing the mighty muskie. We are blessed with challenges every day, and every day I challenge the mighty muskie, I become a better person, more knowledgeable, more aware, better prepared, and ultimately more successful. So it is with great conviction I welcome you to Hunting the Mystique Part 3. See that stump right there, Mike? Yeah. Before that sun gets around that cloud, I want to try to work right straight down here. See the bulrushes? Uh huh. There's a pocket of cabbage there, a pocket of cabbage there, and you see that log back there? The one out of the water? The one, the high one sticking up back there. See the go seagull on the rock? Yep. Okay, right back there, there's an area that's got real thick cabbage in it. If we can hit the perimeter of that. See the little top sticking up in here? All right. See them right here in front of us? Yep. I want to try to take advantage of this before that sun comes out. But a jackpot just goes right through that stuff, doesn't it? This is fastly becoming my favorite lure. The giant jackpot? Try to make your cast real long. Get them back in there because it's not going to hurt anything if you have a long cast in here. No, and that's one thing with a jackpot you can do too is throw it into the wind. Yeah, that way you can reach back in there too, you know, where you can't get the boat because there's stumps all over in here. Yeah, we had our. What's that? We had our tangle with stumps. Oh, yeah, we don't want to be messing with any more stumps. But I want to work down here around this one stump that's right here in front of me. Uh huh because there's some real good thick cabbage. What this is is a huge food shelf here. And as long as it's cloudy, these fish will come up on top of this and use it. It just took us so long to work our way down here today that, you know, we're right at the end of that cloud bank. That cloud bank's gonna go away and we're gonna get some bright sun. What do you think about the little bit of breeze we have blowing through here, is that? I don't think it bothers anything at all. The fact is that there's enough structure with the timber and the rocks in here. Uh -huh. Creates all kinds of little small back eddy areas these fish will lay up in there be a lot of fish laying in here too. It won't be just one or two. Oh, this is really good looking water. Oh, here comes our sun. <laughs> I gotta play hopscotch over the stump here. There we go. Just think if you had to jump one over the stump. Oh, no thanks. So you like the way the jackpot brings up muskies, huh? Oh. I wish a couple of them other ones I brought up would a decided to eat it. I did have that, uh, I had that one that just rocketed on me. That fish was great. 30 seconds to sun, we're gonna get it. Well, maybe it won't make too much difference, huh? Maybe not. Great area right here, though. Fish or no fish, this is a spot that, that is definitely on your 10 most wanted list. Those kind of spots like that you put in your log book of memory. You don't tell anybody about them, you just put them in your own memory. <laughs> what am I talking about? We're showing them to about 30 million people. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we don't look at it that way. <laughs> Got to tell them about the treachery of getting out here. That's. Because I can see. 
150 dead trees. Oh, yes. Ooh, fish. Nice fish. Nice fish out there. I'll get the net. Take her? Hang on. She's a going below to bite the motor. I know, I'm going around. I'm going around. I got free spool on her. She's a big fish. She's fine, I just need to get around her. Okay, I'm gonna bring her up underneath the boat, Mike. Maybe not. That's a big fish. Got you, huh, buddy? Yeah. I can't see her now. She's in the sun. Okay, she's coming up. Okay, leave her in the water. Mike. That's way over 50. Leave her in the water. Say what I need to do. Just hang on to her. Hang I got on to her. her. I need I to got turn her. us. We need to get a good drift going here so we can drift off this. And I'm going to go to work cutting, okay? All right. I'll go wherever you want. Just stay there. All right. And I was just, uh, just going to talk to you about fishing out here in the wind. <laughs> Well, guess what? I guess it works, huh? I got her. I got her. Okay. Boy, she's mad. She don't like this stuff. But I want to get her out of the out of the hooks in the net. Now we got her. Beautiful fish, Bob. Oh yes. That's a lax sewell, huh? That's a good fish. Whoo! Let me get this out of the Just way here. Lay that down if you would, Mike. Get a shot. All right. Turn the camera on. This is a dandy, huh? That's a beauty. I'm gonna. All right, one more. Okay, I gotta get her back. All right, let's oh, go. This is so nice. I'll try to get a release shot over here of her. Oh, oh this is a big, big fish. Oh yes. Let's say maybe. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Alright. Get one more. 